Okay, so what's up, y'all? I'm back with another one. I told y'all I was going to be back. After that little Benefit Cut Brow um, review. But before we get started, let me go ahead and get the stuff ready for this video. Because y'all already know. Oh, snap. <laughs> I don't even know what lashes I'm going to wear for this. A lot of y'all ask me why I didn't make a thumbnail because, you know... Y'all yeah, make a thumbnail and you know you're not, you didn't even start yet. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Thank you, boy. Ooh, if I really have some cute lashes for that. Y'all don't even know what I'm gonna do. I might wear these lashes. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Cause I don't even have no more cute lashes. Cause all my lashes are gone. Except these, these things are like, screw, baby, screw, screw, screw. Should I wear these? Did I wear these today? For this look? Hmm, who knows, who knows, who knows. I might pull these out. This thing look like, I might pull these out. And just put these over it, maybe. Or should I just do these? I think I'm just gonna do these right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna do these. Cause, and they're gonna the kitchen. I thought we was down with that. Alright. Okay. Now we can get started with the video. I should have done it a long time ago, right? I bet that's what some of you guys are saying, right? Whatever. I don't really care. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I already did my eyebrows from that tutorial. From that tutorial. Oh, my gosh. Why well, I keep saying tutorial? From that. What is this thing called from that, you know, y'all know what, what I just filmed, whatever, because I'm my memory is just gone right now. But whatever, I'm going to go ahead and um, prime my eyes with the NYX HD Concealer. When I told y'all, this is like the best full coverage drugstore concealer. It's so bomb, but I'm going to use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade Caramel. And I need to literally go wash my beauty blenders, but it's okay. Because now I can't because I already feel, I'm already in action right now. But it's okay, it's okay. Not that you guys would be mad if I just go leave the room. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I guess I'll just wet it, like, wet, wet it. With my, um stuff that I got my water so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and dip in oops <sighs> what is wrong with me I'm gonna dip in my um beauty blender it's better for a damp beauty blender than another type of beauty blender Y'all see the difference? Like, y'all can see how puffy it is right now. <laughs> okay. Now let's get stored in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out. Where's my mirror, bro? I don't even want that mirror. I want this mirror. So I'm gonna use a different palette smear. So, I'm going to go ahead and blend out this concealer. I'm going to zoom in. Ooh, too close. Okay, just right. Just hope y'all can see. So, I'm just blending it out. Blend, 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 blend. I don't think I like this mirror. <laughs> y'all, I'm so unorganized, am I?
All right. So now I'm gonna use this derma blend to set my eyes. So that's done. Okay. So um, I'm gonna do like a little bit of a highlight on my brow bone before I um do the eye makeup. I found that being more easier. Ooh, I found out that that's more easier than doing your eye makeup and then try to put the highlighter on. It's not good to do it that way. So, yeah. I'm going to put this on first. I'm going to put my highlighter on first. My favorite highlighter that I love to use. On first. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to put that on first. And then I'm going to blend it out with like a lighter, a light shade eyeshadow. Well, that, what I'm using to blend it out, it's not going to be an eyeshadow. It's going to be a bronzer, so. Yeah, whatever. I hope this quality looks good, y'all. No, I like a flat brush. Flat brush, flat brush, flat brush. Okay. And like I told y'all in the other video, my eyebrows are not done at all. So don't be trying to, you know, get on my case, okay? I'm, I might be getting them done this, I don't know, when I get back from Houston maybe. Because I don't know if I'm able to get any eyebrows done right now. Because I have a college to visit and that's going to be some money to spend. Going to Houston. Which is what, about eight hours that we have to drive? <laughs> and yeah. Okay. So that's done. Now, like I said, on a bare brush, a bare brush, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take. Yeah, I'm going to take my favorite light transition shade eyeshadow. But this is not an eyeshadow. This is the NYX, bronze, the NYX matte bronzer. This is not an eyeshadow, but it's very light on my skin. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some. A little bit. Just a little. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. Like that much. Tap it off. And then blend that highlight out. That brow bone highlight out. You see what I'm saying? See how that makes a difference? See that? And now it looks way much blended than it was. Like this is like... Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. But yeah, like I was saying, this is like my favorite light transition shade. So I'm just going to blend it out. And yeah, put that right back in there. And now I'm about to start this eye makeup. You guys are ready? Okay. Oops, and I just dropped my beauty in there. But whatever. But today we're going to be doing this royal blue. Um, semi cut crease makeup look using my favorite palette ever that has all the colors. My makeup brush set 120 eyeshadow palette. 
and this wasn't even the palette that I had that I was supposed to get. I was supposed to get the 250 eyeshadow palette, rainbow eyeshadow palette, but y'all like it was taking so long. So they told me to choose which one I wanted. It was either the warm 88 eyeshadow palette or the cool 88 eyeshadow palette or this eyeshadow palette, the 120 rainbow eyeshadow palette. So I just picked the 120 rainbow eyeshadow palette. And y'all like I should have just waited to get that 250 rainbow eyeshadow palette because listen but it's okay i'm gonna order an, i'm gonna order another 250 but i'm gonna order one from coastal sense instead but yeah before that i'm gonna moisturize my lips real quick this is my favorite lip gloss ever i feel like i gotta sneeze I really feel like I gotta sneeze. Okay. But anyway, for my transition shades, I wanna start off with more purples because I kinda feel like that's what a blue kinda starts off with. I don't know. I just kinda wanna start off with a purple. So I'm gonna start off with this purple right here. Oops. <laughs> with this purple right here in my, tr in my crease. You dig? So, yeah, I'm going to work that in my crease. This is, like, the most pigmented purple I've ever seen in my life. And if you see me like look, did I already say this? Tell me if I already said this. But if you see me looking, keep on looking like at the camera, it's because I'm trying to see if I'm like, if the mirror is blocking the view, y'all's view, or if I'm in frame or not. So, I don't think I told y'all that, but whatever. If I did, tell me. So, y'all just going to work this in my crease. Kind of zoom in just a little bit. Kind of work this in my crease. I love this purple, like, as a tradition, it's so pretty. Like, it's one of those ashy type of, it's like one of those ashy type of purples. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It's a little too zoomed in. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just trying to, like, build up the intensity of this purple. So I can get prepared for these blues who about to put in this crease all over this lid and stuff. So I'm just, you already know what I'm doing. See, like, it won't zoom in like how I want it to zoom in. Like, it needs to zoom in, ooh, slower. There we go. Not too close, but close, because you can see that the quality is not looking that good. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, that's better. That's way better. So, the next purple I'm going to use. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to use this purple right here. Wait, where is it? Hey, where it go? I'm going to use this purple right here. In that crease. As a transition shade as well. 
did it. I don't know if y'all can see it's turn it's on camera it look it's looking blue. But it's not really blue. It's like a blue, but it's not too much like a blue. So just worked it in that crease, girl. I don't know why I do that, but I like to drag it into my lid as well. And when we get towards the darker shades, that's when I'm going to put like tape. No, I'm not even going to put tape. I'm going to do like the powder and make like a straight... Uh, um, angled straight line with it. So just go in circular motions and that crease. I like to go in circular motions. I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> but I definitely do like to go in circular motions. So I, sometimes I gotta like look at the um, mirror up here instead of this small mirror. It happens. It happens. Okay, it happens. Cause sometimes when you look in the small mirror, it can turn out. It can, you can say it's looking good, but when you get in the big mirror, it's like, oh no, like what is that? Okay, so this last transition shade that I'm going to be... Well, it's not really a transition shade anymore because it's not very light. But I'm going to be using this purple right here, right next to the purple I just got done using. This purple right here. When I tell y'all on weekdays in the mornings, I don't have time to film. Like, I literally mean that. Like, I don't be having time to film in the morning. Because, like, I be rushing. But at the same time, my makeup be looking good. And I'll get agitated, like, when I have to still talk to y'all. I don't know, y'all. It's just crazy. Like, that's why I say I would rather just not film in on the weekdays. But on weekends... You know, film. Like I told y'all, I told y'all my schedule. But last week when, week, uh, weekend was really, really crazy. Hold on. Yeah, last weekend was very crazy. It was a lot of college stuff I had to do. And y'all know school is over YouTube, so I definitely have to focus on that. I just have to explain to you guys. But you guys already know the gif. If I'm like out for a couple of weeks or you see me not filming, y'all already know what's going on, you know with the whole thing so yeah oh 
I'm so hungry. It is ridiculous. I just want to make sure these colors like blend it out real good. Okay, so now we're going to start on with the blues. So now I got to get a little bit more crazy. So I'm going to switch up the brushes. I'm going to switch up with this brush right here. I'm going to kind of blend out this purple a little bit with this brush. But it's whatever, you know. Okay. So the next blue I'm gonna be using, I mean the next color I'm gonna be using, the next shade, let me be more polite. The next shade I'm gonna use is this top shade right here at the top. This shade right there. Right in that crease. My goodness. Now I gotta keep it looking good. Keep it looking good. Hey, keep it looking good. Keep it looking good. Y'all know that sometimes I have to look in the mirror over there because, you know, I be looking crazy. I don't want to be looking crazy on camera. So. Now I think I'm going to start looking in this big mirror a little bit more so that I can kind of see what I'm looking like. This blue is looking a little bit patchy. It's looking a little patchy. Can y'all see that? This side is not looking patchy. It's just this side. Whatever. Okay. So I'm gonna use this shade right under it. So you know I just use this shade right here. I'm gonna use this shade right under it. And then after 
I'm done using this shade right here. I'm gonna use the shade. Oh, snaps. I like to make sure I'm going in circular motion so that it looks well. So that this looks good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I gotta get up again to turn the dryer back on. I really don't feel like getting up. This side is still looking kind of patchy. This side right here, still looking kind of patchy. It's okay though. It won't really look that patchy once I put the, once I cut my crease. So after that, I'm gonna use. Like I told y'all, I'm going to use this darker blue right here. Oops. And now we're going to get it cracking. And I know I don't got no blue shirt right now. But after I will be getting, like in the um, thumbnail, you will see a blue shirt. Okay, so that was quick. That last blue was quick. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. So I'm going to use, you already know, I love these brushes to cut my crease. Wherever they say. Because there's a lot of brushes that I use in here to cut my crease. Where is it up? Here it is right here. So, oop, my cheek is so itchy, but whatever. So, I'm going to use this right here to cut my crease. No, I don't even want to use that. I'm going to use a uh, um, foundation to cut my crease. This is my old foundation. This is the um, Fit Me Foundation in 360 Toffee. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to use that. I'm going to use some foundation. Foundation works as well as concealer does. Foundation is just, just more... It doesn't have much coverage. So yeah, I'm going to cut the crease halfway. Can y'all see? Y'all see it? So now I'm going to do the other eye.
I'm kind of mixed up on this one. Gosh, I hate when I do that, y'all. So what I'm about to do, I'm going to grab some more blue real quick. Put it on that crease. And then cut it again. Cause, yeah. So y'all see, I put some more on there. Okay, now y'all can see. Hold up. Because I kind of messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and cut my crease again. Okay, so I know that was a long time. I apologize, but I just had to make sure my cut creases were on point. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pat this in one more time, and I'm going to let this dry. So, that's what I've been seeing on, like, this, this person's page. Like, I'm not even going to say the name. But that's what I have been seeing on people's YouTube channels, like, on their tutorials and stuff. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try not to open my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just let this dry. Okay. Like I'm going to let it set in. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was all the way up there. This is what it's looking like. Oops. This is what it's looking like. It's looking bomb. Well, y'all know I just messed up right there, but you can't really tell. Okay, so I'm going to take, like, a folder or something and, like, fan my face. But I need to, like, find the folder. My bad, y'all. Oh, it needs to come on. Okay. These cut creases look bomb, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Make sure I don't open my eyes. Y'all know what I usually do. Y'all know my usual routine. I always usually just set it. And that's what I'm probably just about to do. Because I can't sit through all this. It's too, it's just too long. Who can I sit through all this? Girl, I'm going to set it. With my drama blend. So I'm going to set it with this brush right here. On this Mally brush. And kind of pat it in the creases a little bit, and just set it with it with that um powder. Let me zoom back in. Oops, too far. Ah! 
Oh my gosh, get where I need you. Bro. Okay. I mean, I guess. I don't think that's where I need you. <laughs> Y'all, like... Girl. That'll be okay. That'll do us justice for right now. So I'm just gonna sit, 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 sit. Loves to crease in the middle. Always. Okay, so now that I set my um now that I set my cookery, listen, y'all, I'm about to zoom out. Oh, look at that double chin, y'all. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay. Better. But, y'all, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, just make sure it's all set in. And it is. Okay, I, I, don't, I can't even pick that up because I don't want to make this video looking ratchet, okay? But, anyway. Anyway. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to use, oops, if I can find it. Oh my gosh, if I can find it, like, yeah, whatever. I'm going to use this shade right here to go on my lid. And I'm going to use the same exact brush that I used to cut my crease. I wish I had my wipe so I could just wipe it off. Because this is what I do. Like, I'm not even going to make up nothing that, you know... I'm not even gonna like fake it for the camera. This is literally what I do. I don't take out a whole nother brush to do my lid with. Like I just think that's unnecessary where you can just easily wipe off the brush and just use it. I just don't uh -uh. I just find that very unnecessary. So yeah. And it looks kind of greenish. Mm, my gosh, y'all. I'm trying to find the right shade that'll match with this. But this ain't getting me nowhere. But I'm going to use this blue right here in here. If y'all can see it. This blue right here. And it's not it's not a light type of blue. It's like a... I don't know how to describe it, but you'll see it in a minute. Like, you see it? It's like... Like I can't find the right blue to match it. To match this look. Because that blue didn't look right. I don't know, y'all. That blue ain't looking too hot. Okay, yeah, this is the right blue. So, yeah, I'm going to use this blue right here. You see it? Right there. My finger couldn't stretch that far. So, I had to show you. And this blue is so pigmented. Literally. Girl. And it's still, it's still sort of in the royal blue category. It's more of, a, more of on the aqua side, but it still fits in with this look. So you can tell it kind of still fits in.
And I'm gonna do this side now. And I bet y'all like that looks a hot mess. Well, you'll see the ending of it. And I bet you won't be saying it looks a hot mess then. Because I'm telling you, y'all just don't judge a book by it. No, don't judge like in the process. Judge, like don't judge in the process, okay? Just don't do it. Okay, so it sort of looks like a um, smoky eye, but it's not. So now I'm going to start adding more of blacks in it now. So I'm going to use a black on the outer corner. Start working it into the outer corner. So y'all can kind of see. And start to incorporate it just by a little bit. So y'all can kind of see it. I don't like this black. <laughs> y'all just be like. I don't know. This look. It's looking alright. But it's not looking the best right now. So. So it's starting to look a little bit good, so, yeah. Okay, whatever, it's going to start looking good. I ain't worried about it right now, because once I start to... You know, see what it looks like, what it's going to look like after. You know, I'm going to like it, so. So, like I said, I'm going to use a little bit of black. I'm going to start off with a little bit of black. And then, you know. Incorporate that blue inside of it. Yeah, I'm not shooting on my phone, so, because I see some little comments in there saying, like, it's not the best quality. I know, because I'm not shooting on my phone, and, and if I was shooting on my phone, it would be, like, better. So, yeah. Five is not the best, but, you know. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into that blue and, you know, reincorporate that into, you know, go back into it. Just go back into it, that's what I mean.
so now you can see it more. And I'm gonna go right back in. Oh, it's just like going back and forth, going back and forth. You just gotta have that type of message. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and dust off, ooh, girl, I'm all in y'all face. I'm going to go ahead and dust off this old blue, all this blue that y'all see on my face, all that. I'm literally wiping all this off my, sh on my clothes. So, I'm going to take that, I'm going to take these glitters right here that you see, and I'm going to take this and put it. On the place where I cut my cut crease. So you see this blue right here, right here. And this blue right here right on my lid. Crease lid. Crease lid. And you see this line of where I cut my cut crease. This is where I'm going to put these two glitters. So I'm going to mix this NYX crystal liner and crystal, pow crystal powder. With this hard candy. No, Ruby Kisses silver glitter liner. I don't know. So I'm going to put this on first and then put the silver on top of it. <clears throat> People always want to know how to do it. So I'm trying to make sure that y'all can see it. Make sure how y'all so make sure that y'all see how I'm doing it. I'm sorry for in your face. Y'all not have a habit of doing that. Now it's starting to look better. Okay, this step with this glitter right here is optional, but I like to, like, drag it into, like, the darker shade for some reason. I don't know why I like to do that. It's just, I just like to do it. You don't have to, but I like to. So, this is what it's looking like. Now I'm going to use this over it. To kind of make it a bit much more blingy. Blinged out, I guess. More blinged out. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, I don't know what happened, but I just went ahead and finished the little glitter or whatever. So, I know it's looking a bit empty. I know y'all looking like where her liner at. So, I'm going to be using, I'm going to use the Tarte, the Too Faced. I'm going to use the Too Faced 
sketch marker you're so faced I don't know y'all but you shake it up you shake it up cut the in a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner And that just finished up that whole look. So I'm gonna do this side now. Okay. It's looking good right here. It's looking good. So, now that we're pretty much done with the eye, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to apply this um, Nikka K Mighty Lash Max Volume Mascara. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, she got in my eyeballs. So y'all don't know what be going on. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna use these lashes right here. They're a bit more on the stiffer side, but it's okay. Like y'all see that? And it is. I uh, don't. Uh, I don't like that, but it's cool. I'm gonna apply these right quick, and then we'll be on to the face because we almost to an hour. And this one got like more of a thicker type of band and I hate that because when my eyes start to water it's so irritating because it's always touching and I just hate it. Oops. Wrong thing. Okay, so now y'all can see if this look is coming together good. So I'm going to apply this lash. See, I don't got to dance. I make money move. Oops, if I see you now, speak. That means I don't mess with you. I'm a boss. You a worker, B. P. 
Tipa said B, not that, not the word. Okay. It's hard for me to show how I apply lashes, y'all, because I don't know, it's just hard. So I'll be trying to make sure they own right. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and start on the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and um what you call it? Now I'm gonna wipe my face off first with this little wipe. Like wipe my under eyes and stuff. And like I'm gonna fix it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in. I'm going in with this GNC Aloe Vera Moisturizing Cream. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Y'all already know the GIF. Blah, 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 blah. Under the eyes. Because I have to have my under eyes hydrated. So I'm going to go ahead and work that into my mascara hopefully this thing doesn't cut off again because I ain't got time to fall up but luckily YouTube saves your um live so you won't have to make a whole nother one and go through all that Y'all can see that ugly old concealer. So, I didn't already get that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, oops, oh my god, stuff's already about to fall. So, I'm going to use this Mario, I got the big bottle, yes. I'm going to use this Mario Badescu, um, facial with olive vera cucumber green tea spray. And I'm also going to use the e.l.f. mineral face primer to blur out some of these, like, bumps I have, pimples, bumps, whatever you want to say. Fan, 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 that's all you can do. Fan my face real good. I wish I had like something to fan my face with. But that just, I don't know. I'm going to just tap in like the excess. Like under my eyes, my chin, under my eyes, on my nose, forehead. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the mineral face powder. Of course on my forehead. This kind of makes my skin a bit oily I have noticed so you know I gotta kind of limit how much I'm using on my and those pores so I gotta work it in those pores I'm gonna work it in those pores, girl. Work it, work it, work it. In the chin. And then the rest can just get thrown away. <laughs> okay. So, 
I kind of just like to put myself up on the way, like, of going. I don't know, that's just me. I just like to do that, clean up on the way, because it's just, but, yeah. So now, ooh. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and color correct with the uh, Maybelline Master Camo Palette. You see, it deep. And I'm going to color correct, of course, with the orange. Under my eyes. On my nose. Somewhere on my nose. And I don't even like to blend it out. Sometimes. Like, if y'all see me reading down here, this way, like the way I'm looking right now, I'm looking at the comments. And if you see me looking right here, I'm looking at y'all. My under eyes are really all the imperfections that I have. And that's it, really. Ain't nothing to say right now. From my mouth, I guess. I like to do my whole nose because my whole nose is just messed up. But I'm going to go ahead and tap it in just a little. So, the foundation I'm going to be using is... Let's see, let's see, let's see what it's going to be. Let's see, let's see. This concealer hasn't, not the concealer, glitter hasn't cracked yet. Surprising, surprising, surprising. Oh no, y'all. Because I can't find it. Oh, here it is. So, y'all know I'm going to use my favorite, Ma the uh, Maybelline um, Mineral Powder Foundation. Yo, I feel like it's going to end. Like it's going to cut off. Oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't cut off. No. I don't know if this is more foundation than I usually use, but it should not. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz this beauty blender again with some water. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. I like to take it all the way back here too. all the way back here into my ears sometimes as well because I like my foundation to match up really really well I might film one more video of get unready with me I don't know we'll just have to see I'm just trying to check and see if it matches really good. Even sometimes color correcting doesn't even do me justice. Like, and you can still kind of see my dark circle. But when I get older, I will probably, when I get around about 21, 
I'll probably get something done down there. I'll probably get like filler under my eyes. Is that what that is they be doing? I think that is. Because it doesn't really help. Nothing really helps when it when it's referring to down there. Okay. That's done. Now we're going to go ahead and proceed with the concealer. So you already know what concealer I'll be using. Okay. If you don't, take a wild guess. Next, next, next. So I'm going to highlight with this concealer. You're so beautiful. Y'all yeah, can't really sing. Somebody gotta help me out with my singing. Who gonna help me? If you gonna help me, then let me know. So I know. This is literally the only concealer that really helps with those dark circles. And for contour, of course, dark cocoa, pro concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and blend everything out. I'm blend, no, I'm going to blend my concealer out. My highlight. Ugh. I be trying to like be so fancy. And whenever I try, it's like I forget to be fancy. I'm going to bring it into there. Like, when I tell y'all, this concealer is just so fun. Oh, oh, my gosh. Something I almost slipped out, but, um, this, when I tell y'all, this concealer is so full coverage. It's so full coverage. Like, even if I keep on tapping on it under my eyes, it's not going to do anything. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of concealer you want. Hate when it does that.
clean cleaned it out. Make sure you smooth it out. Make sure it look ashy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my contour. I haven't blended it out with my um stipper brush in a long time. So I like to wet my stipper brush. Okay, I like to wet it. That way it blends it out a little bit more. I hope that y'all be able to ignore that. Like when it keep glitching. I'm sorry, it's just happening. It's like it does it. It does that on this on this device that I'm using on this tablet. I don't know why it does that, but it does. It's crazy. But you know. Ooh, my hair hurt. Yeah, I think I'm going to do an Unready With Me video. And that's probably going to be it for the weekend. Because this is a lot that I'm doing. I got to do two videos already. This is about to be my second one. Oops, kind of messed up right there. Okay, and now for nose contour. Everybody wants to know how I do my nose contour. There's really nothing special to it at all. But whenever I smile, it still looks like my. It still looks like my. It still looks like my nose is very. Like uh, I don't know, whatever. But um. Now I'm going to go ahead and set, so I'm going to pack in all the excess, all those creasings or whatever. So, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and set the bottom, set my highlight first with my e.l.f. blush brush. It's like a tapered brush brush, blush brush. Y'all miss Vegas so freaking much. You don't even understand. Like, I miss it so much. I had tons of fun with my dad and my mom. You know, 
It was a lot of fun. I loved it. I had fun, girl. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my um, contour with my Ruby Kisses mineral powder in um, ebony. Just tap it off. And then for that nose contour, like really when I'm feeling lazy, this is all I do for my nose contour. Like, I'm so lazy, like sometimes. It's ridiculous. But now I'm going to go ahead and kind of carve everything out with this triangular, I'm sorry, I was holding it up there, with this triangular sponge. I'm gonna set it kind of high. For some reason, I like to like bring it in. Cause like when I smile, I like to. I like that look on those cheeks, girl. Somebody on that body. Somebody on that booty. I've just been singing all throughout this video. <laughs> okay. So, okay. while that's setting, like, while that's, like, you know, setting here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with the eyes and do my highlight. So yeah. I'm probably gonna add I don't know what I'm gonna add blush. I don't know what, but I'm gonna do this highlight today because I don't know. I just wanna do this highlight. This is the NYC um loose shimmer. I can find my brush, my brush, my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna use my um real technique setting brush this time because I don't want to use anything else because it's not gonna blend it out that well. Yeah, that looks really, really blended out.
See, this is why I love this highlight because this highlight looks like it's supposed to be on my skin. The other highlighters, they're okay. But I mean, you know. Nothing but like a good natural looking, skin looking highlighter. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm going to do now is finish up the eyes. Ooh, finish up those eyes, girl. Finish up. Finish up. Hey, finish up. I'm going to put something. I want to put something like a black in my waterline. That's if I got some fine stuff. So I'm going to use this right here to put in my water now. I kind of like to drag it out too, just a little bit. Y'all can see. Okay, so now I'm going to finish up with something like this brush right here. So I'm going to just do exactly what I did to my eyes to the bottom. So I'm going to add this purple first. And then I'm going to add the last shade that I did. So I kind of want to smoke it out. So I'm going to take the last shade, which was that dark blue, and just use that and put it on my bottom, on my lash line, low lash line, and just start to smoke out this look. This look is like more of like a smoky. I'm wondering, should I... Title of this video, blue, I don't know, blue semi-cut crease, smoky eye, I don't know, like, cause it kind of looks like a smoky eye, it doesn't really look like a cut crease anymore, but it still looks good, so I'm gonna put something in my inner tear duct really quickly, you know, just to throw in there, girl, I'm gonna use it out of this palette, I'm gonna use this yellow shade right here, and put it in my inner tear duct. I guess it's like a yellow shade. I think it's like a yellow shade. Or maybe a golden, whatever color. Okay. Alrighty, so, oh. okay, I'm going to dust this off for my face, this is literally what, two almost, almost two hours, this is literally like almost two hours. crazy oh my gosh I'm sorry if y'all see me moving around a lot I apologize I'm just trying to get everything up because I don't like too much of a mess you know not too much not too much so I like for my stuff to be like straight lines looking good like blunt down there 
So, for me to look, make it look like that, I'm going to leave it on just a little bit longer. So, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I'm still trying to figure out what lippy I'm going to pair with this. I'm going to go back in with this. Um, what's this thing called? Dang it, what is this? Cupid's bow highlight. Oh, let's see. Oops. Ooh. Nothing happened, y'all. But yeah. Small change. And y'all see another. Y'all will see another. Um. What? Another wardrobe in the thumbnail. In the new thumbnail. Because the thumbnail I have now is black. So, yeah, whatever. But. Trampoline booty. Trampoline booty. Hands up. Trampoline that booty. I'm gonna dust it off. Cause it's been sitting in there for a while, so you have to kind of dust it off hard. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face or whatever. I'm gonna use this to refresh a little bit, like I'm gonna do two sprays. I'm sorry, I meant to do two, but I missed uh, several times. And then I'm gonna use this right here to set. And then fan it, fan it, fan it, blah, 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 blah. And then now we're going to move on to the lip Because I don't know what lip option I do. Who knows? Cause I don't know right now. Alright. So, while we thinking about what lip option we're going to do, I'm going to just line my lips with the NYX, um, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX suede and the club popper. I feel like I want to do like a pink. Or any type of dark color. Maybe I could actually pull out this purple. Uh, I want to do a look. I could do a red as well. I don't know. 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 Maybe this red. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a red. So I'm going to use the NYX suede and kitten, kitten heels. Kitten. Kitten the heels.
Okay. I kind of want them a bit darker. Okay, so I like this girl right here. It's complicated. So I'm going to use the NYX Wade in Cherry Skies. Just to kind of darken it up. Because it's just a little too light. For my liking. And this is the ending product. So I'm going to bring you up a bit closer. This is the ending product. Looks really bomb, right? Oops, oops. <laughs> Y'all, I have no control over what this thing does. But it looks so pretty. Okay, so this is the ending product. So, yeah, this is it. Yeah, I think I got some music on. <laughs> I'm thinking I got like some music on in my head. But in reality, we don't have no music. You know? So yeah, this is the ending look. I hope y'all enjoyed this beautiful royal blue, you know, royal blue, royal blue semi-cut crease makeup look. And if you did, I want you to give this video a big thumbs up because you know what? I took my time and came back on this channel just for y'all because I missed y'all. So just show me how much you miss me. And like up this 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 live video. Like up this video. Okay. And comment on videos you want to see some next. And I will most definitely do it. Okay. And I love y'all so much. You guys mean the world to me. And also, disclaimer, I apologize for all the, the green glitching that you see on the screen. I apologize. It's kind of my fault right there. I think it's because I was moving around a lot. With doing my eyes and stuff. But I hope y'all enjoyed this look. And I'll see y'all in my next live or my, like, my next video. Whatever. But I'm thinking of doing one more, two more videos. Y'all, I'm just trying to get some more content going out. You know what I'm saying? Like, get some more videos out. So, hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this royal blue with a pop of yellow. I don't know what to call this, but I might just call this a royal blue semi-cut crease. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. With a pop of yellow. I don't know. <laughs> I might just call it a royal blue so my cut crease. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. And like I said again, I'm going to say it again in a thousand times. and a thousand more times. Hope you guys enjoyed this royal blue semi cut crease makeup look. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I say yes, share share and tag me on instagram at courtney32 okay courtney32 no cc.courtney32 okay tag me 
And if you recreate this, make sure you tag me also. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.